In this figure, we'll talk briefly about hydrogen bonds. And hydrogen bonds fall into a class known as weak bonds. So non-covalent and non-ionic. And hydrogen bonds occur when we have a dipole attraction between a partial positive charge and a partial negative charge. Now, we can have hydrogen bonding between two molecules that are exactly the same. This is what generates surface tension in water. In the example we're showing here, we're showing hydrogen bonding between water on our right and ammonia on our left. So it can be uh, intermolecular bonding between two different molecules. Finally, we can have hydrogen bonds that's, that occur intramolecularly. What this means is that they are occurring between portions of one large molecule. This is actually one of the elements that helps stabilize the, the folding of proteins hydrogen bonding between partial negative and partial positive charges along the side chains of those amino acids forming the protein. And so how does this work? Well, in our water molecule, again, we have a dipole. This occurs because we have an electronegative element, oxygen, has a large positive nucleus with all its protons, and that uh, positively charged nucleus attracts the electrons of the associated hydrogens. They spend more time around the oxygen, making it electronegative. The electrons spending less time around the hydrogens make them electropositive, a partial positive charge. The same is true over here in our ammonia molecule. The nitrogen is electronegative, large positively charged nucleus, attracting the electrons of the associated hydrogens, the bound hydrogens, again, creating this partial negative charge. Now this may sound like an ionic bond, an attraction of positive and negative charges, and really the big difference here is it's an attraction of partial charges. In an ionic bond, the electrons are literally transferred from one element to another. That's not the case here. We just have a dipole or an electrostatic attraction between the oppositely charged elements, creating a weak bond. They can be of different strengths depending upon how much of a partial charge each of these is, but they're very important in the surface tension of water and in the hydration of uh, polar solutes like ammonia here, or again, in the folding of larger macromolecules such as proteins.